and dies. Hello children, what comes to your mind when you look at this object? It can remind you of some board games like Ludo, Monopoly and Snake and Ladder that involve its use. Let's identify this object. It is a cube when it has no numbers on its surfaces and it is a dice when its surfaces are represented by different numbers. Children, let's learn about cubes and dice today. Cube A cube is a three-dimensional figure that has six faces, eight vertices and twelve edges. Number of unit cubes in a cube of side n is equal to n cube. Here, n is the side edge of the cube. Let's learn the formula for finding the number of cubes in a cuboid of sides L, B and H. Number of unit cubes is equal to L into B into H. Children, please remember these points. A cube or cuboid has six faces. A cube has equal length, breadth and height, whereas in a cuboid all these are different. Now, let's learn about dice. A dice is a three-dimensional figure in which all the surfaces are represented by different numbers. It has six faces that are numbered from one to six. If the surfaces of the dice are unfolded and placed on a plane, the figure of a dice so obtained will appear as one of the following figures. Form 1 will appear as shown. In this case, 1 lies opposite to 5, 2 lies opposite to 4, 3 lies opposite to 6. Form 2 will look like this. In this case, 1 lies opposite to 6, 2 lies opposite to 4, 3 lies opposite to 5. Form 3 will look like as shown. In this case, 1 lies opposite to 3, 2 lies opposite to 5, 4 lies opposite to 6. Now, this is form 4. In this case, 1 lies opposite to 4, 2 lies opposite to 6, 3 lies opposite to 5. Let's look at examples based on cube and dice to understand the concept. How many unit cubes are there in the given figure? And the options are A20, B40, C60, D80. Children, in such cases where the number of cubes in each surface of the figure is different, we apply this formula L into B into H. Let's count the cubes and place values in the formula. 4 into 3 into 5 is equal to 60 cubes. So, there are 60 cubes in this figure and the correct answer is option C. Let's now look at an example based on dice. How many points will be there on the face opposite to the face which contains 4 points? Observe the figures and the options are a6, B4, C2, D5. Children, the correct answer is option C2. As the adjacent faces to the face with 4 points have 3, 1, 5 and 6 points. Hence, the face opposite to the face containing 4 points will consist of 2 points. That's all for today. I hope you have understood the concept of cubes and dice. Bye for now. I will see you soon with a new concept.